Hi everyone, I'm David from Sunrise Day Camp Staten Island. Do you have a pet fish? Have you ever been to a lake or to the ocean? Or have you ever visited an aquarium? These are just some of the places where we can see fish. Well, today we will be taking you on a very special virtual field trip to Orly's Aquarium and I know you will be amazed. Have a great time and be sure to watch and listen carefully so you can answer these trivia questions after the trip. Question 1. Name three tropical fish that are found in Orly's Aquarium. Question 2. How thick are the glass walls of the aquarium tank? Question 3. Name three places where Orly gets her fish. Hi everyone, I'm Orly. I'm a Wheels volunteer from New York. I thought maybe we would go on a great virtual field trip to our home aquarium. Most people have their home aquariums on a desk, in their home office, at school, in their science lab. This is how we do fish tanks. From this to this. This is our home aquarium. Our aquarium is 16 feet long by 16 feet wide and 10 feet deep. Notice we have so many great underwater friends here. We have tangs, angelfish, butterflies, and the pink schools of Antheus that you see up above. You can recognize some of your favorite fish from Nemo here too. Our aquascape is all live rock cemented together to recreate the undersea world. This is a raccoon butterfly. Here we have a conspicuous angel, some other rare butterflies, an angelfish, yellow tangs, purple tangs. They love to come up to the glass when humans are standing around. We feed the fish frozen food every day that we dilute in the seawater. These poles that you see hanging by a rope are how we feed our fish seaweed. We have different kinds of nori seaweed that we clip onto those poles and all of the fish flock together for a yummy snack. Here you can see exactly how thick this glass is. It's four inches thick and soldered together with silicone. Once we sprung a leak, thank goodness it was before we actually had fish in it. You can also see the fish down this way. Let's get a little up close and personal with some of our friends. Here's just another side view. We have plenty of caves and tunnels for them to crawl through. If you notice, the fish tank goes down two feet under a regular floor. Hey guys, you want to see how we feed these fishies? Let's go behind the scenes and I'll take you to the secret room. Come on. Here is all the equipment that plums the water from the back of the house and under the basement up into the tank. The lighting is done on a computer system that we can adjust more blue light, more white light, and the front, sides, and back of the tank. Let me show you how we climb up and feed the fishies every day. Here's my ladder. This is the lighting system and the top of the tank. We can really see how the fish are coming to say hi to me because they think I'm putting in some food. Hey kids. Check this out guys. As a special treat, we just put in a lot of frozen fish food.
These guys are having a blast gobbling up anything they could find. this guy's done in here, he's got to go through some chemical tanks to prepare him and get him used to the water in the main system. Here's where he will get copper only. This row of tanks is for fish to get copper and other medications. Go see where the real machinery goes on. I know, pretty spooky. This goes 30 more feet down below the house. This is where we make all our salt water and everything gets churned and stored so it's perfect for when we do our water changes. Let me give you a quick show. It's really noisy down here, so just to give you a quick tour, there's motors, pumps, huge towers where we keep our salt water that's ready to do our water changes. Look at these pumps. There's just tubes and pipes everywhere. Even our vacuum's huge. Our water recycles through sacks and filtration. Here's all the yucky stuff that was cleaned out by that skimmer. And this is no jacuzzi, guys. This is how we churn the water to make sure there's no moldy buildup or any bacteria forming. I am so happy that I have all of you friends to join me on this tropical adventure, virtually. If you want to learn anything about tropical fish, you can really Google anything. From setting up your first fish tank to learning more about tropical fish, the internet is a great place to look, to learn anything you need. I hope everyone has a great day and signing out. How was your trip? Did you guys learn some cool facts? I hope so. I'm Allison from Aurora Day Camp down in Atlanta, Georgia, and I thought that was such a cool trip. Do you guys remember the questions that we asked at the very beginning? Well, here are the answers. Number one, raccoon butterfly conspicuous angels, angel fish, yellow tangs, purple tangs, antheos. Number two, four inches thick. Number three, the pet store, Tahiti, and Fiji. Did you guys get the answers right? Yay, that's awesome, congratulations. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. That's awesome. I hope you guys had so much fun, like I know I did, and we can't wait to see you guys soon.